In this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off in a previous video where we did a deep dive on the Angular Grid and you learned how to configure it basically from scratch into a full featured data grid that you could pretty much use in any line of business app. The big problem was the data was local data being bound to the grid. In this video, you're gonna see how to create a service that uses the HTTP client that goes off to the cloud gets JSON data, and then binds it into the grid. Let's get started. I have the sample app one running. You can see we have our employees data in the grid, just like we did earlier, as well as our new grid component.html and TypeScript. Now what we wanna do is actually get this employee data from the cloud, not from a local data source. The way that we're going to do that is use an online tool called excel2json.io, which is actually going to create a remote JSON object for us that we can pull in using the HTTP client. So let me go ahead and open up excel2json.io. If you've never used this before, super easy. You can take any Excel file and create a JSON object. So let me grab my Excel file. Angular employees and I'm going to drag it right here and here is my data so you can see I've got uh, first name or employee ID first name last name it all maps to exactly what you see in the grid and it's actually the same exact data in the grid I just copied this and pasted it as local data now we're going to use remote data so I'm going to say get link I'm going to copy this link and now if I go to a new browser and I paste this in hit enter this remote URL now is my remote data. So we're gonna use this in the service that we're gonna create right now, which is going to pull this in and load it into the grid. So I'm gonna minimize this for a second, or I'll just stick it over here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is in our app, we're gonna create a new folder called services. And within services, we're gonna create a new file. And this new file is gonna be called employee-data.service.ts. So this is where we're going to add the code which we'll call our service. So the first thing we need to do is import three modules. So we're gonna do an imports here and we need injectable. And it'll automatically figure out where it's coming from. I need to import the HTTP client, oops. And all this is nice because it is in our IntelliSense. And then finally, we're gonna import observable, like so. Now, we're using the HP client. This isn't something that is standard install as part of a Angular app when you do ng-new, which is what we did. So let's go to app module, and we're gonna go down to the imports here, and we're going to add the HTTP client module. So this will import HTTP client and HTTP client module. Now, if I click Control S on everything here, or actually, let me just do a save all, our grid should still be working. It's gonna be unaffected by anything that we're doing until we actually change the data source. So let's go back to our service and let's start adding some code here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we need this singleton object that's gonna be created in the root. And the way we do that is with oops, the provided in keyword. So here we're gonna say provided in, and we're gonna say root. And this will make our class available to anyone that actually wants it, like so. So we clean that up and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna export this class as something called employees data service. And the employees data service is essentially what we're gonna call from newgridcomponent.html. And in here we have our constructor. And this is our HTTP client. So, and that's it for that. 
And then finally, we need to have our public method, which we're going to call from new grid component.ts, which actually gets the employees. So we've got public get employees. And this is where we're going to call our service. And this is going to be an observable. And we'll be able to have type any in this. And what we're, what we're going to return is the JSON object that we're getting from the cloud. So we're going to return this dot HTTP dot get. And what are we going to get? We're going to get this URL that we had earlier. So let me paste this in. And that's it. So it's pretty easy to create a service. You need the HP client. Uh, you need injectable, which we have. So that was a, a typo. Sorry. We don't need that. HP client observable and injectable. And then we are going to make this class available to anyone that calls it. So that's what this provided in root will give us. We're going to export this class as something called employees data service, which will import in the new grid component dot typescript and we're going to return through the HTTP get our JSON object and, and really that's it our service is done so if we save this everything should work and now let's go to the typescript here so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import that service so we're going to do an import employees data service and the nice thing is again this is all coming up in our autocomplete which is beautiful we don't have to think much uh, because of the friendliness of the IDE and what's being exposed through IntelliSense so we've got our employees data service and the next thing we're going to do is in our class our export class here is we're going to create a variable here we have our public local data which is bound to the grid currently so we're going to create a public employees data and this is going to be any and we're going to set it to null to start so this is good we're going to take the data from the service and we're going to stick it inside of this and this is what we're going to bind into the grid and then here in the constructor we're going to create an instance of the employees data service so we'll say private employees data service. And this is the employee data service that we've already created. And then finally, all we need to do is on the ng on init in order to get this data into our grid is call the employee data service. So you can see we're already doing this with the local data and we're putting the employees data inside the local data. What we want to do is swap that out with the data from our service. So I'm going to say this dot employees data service dot what was our public method get employees dot subscribe. So this is an observable. So we want to subscribe to it. And then this is going to live inside of this data object and it'll be this dot employees data like so and that's going to equal our data and that's it through the magic of IntelliSense and maybe 10 lines of code to set up this service we are going to the cloud to get the data we're pulling that in through our service we're importing our service into this component and then we are just creating an instance of the employees data service calling our public method get employees and then that actually goes inside of the grid so i'm going to comment out this dot local data equals employees data now when we save this the grid should be empty because what we want to do is have the grid use employees data so let's copy this let's go to the html and i'm going to replace local data with employees data and we are going to hit save and like magic we have all of the data coming from the cloud in our grid and how do we know this for sure my microphone's in the way here so i have to duck a little bit let's go to more tools let's go to developer tools and let's check out what happens 
as we continuously refresh this page. So I've got the network tab here. I'm gonna hit refresh and you can see that we're going out to the cloud. This guy here looks like it was 254 milliseconds. That was a little bit long. So that must be our network call. I'm gonna keep refreshing it and yes, that's it. Let's click this guy and now let's see what's in it. And lo and behold, this is our employee data from the cloud. So just like that with a few lines of code to create the service and then to call that service, we have enabled our Angular grid to use live data in the cloud versus local data. To learn more about modern web products like Ignite UI for Angular, check out igniteui.com. Also, click subscribe so you can get notified when we post new videos on how to use all of our modern web products.